You might have heard about this famous Scandinavian study from 2020, where all participants had to rate their own physical attractiveness, while a group of strangers also rated the physical attractiveness of all participants. The result? The least attractive participants overestimating their attractiveness the most, while those who are actually the most attractive underestimating their attractiveness. Or in other words, we all live in a makeup world where we can't objectively estimate our own attractiveness. Luckily, that's where I come in. In this video, we will cover all of the scientifically proven ways to objectively estimate your own attractiveness. So make sure to watch the whole video so you don't miss any important information. For those of you meeting for the first time, my name is Raoul, I'm a medical doctor from the Netherlands and it's my mission to medically educate you, my viewer, because educated people make healthier decisions. So let's get learning. As always here at How to Medicate, we start at the beginning, because a well-defined base lets us build up our knowledge. So what is beauty and why is it so important? The Oxford Dictionary defines beauty as a combination of qualities such as shape, color, or form, that pleases the aesthetic senses, especially the sight. This definition forms a very sterile image of beauty, and frankly, it's not satisfying for me at all. I think beauty is much more than that. In fact, I think it's essential for survival as a species. Beauty is a quality which speaks to us. It's everywhere surrounding us, in our fellow humans, in nature, and even in our crafts. It's a luxury we can't afford to live without. The most telling example I can think of are paradise birds. Picture a male bird in all his beauty, with his beautiful feathers and all colors of the rainbow. The sole purpose of his beauty is to seduce a female bird, and the prettier he is, the more offspring he can produce. It's important though to stress that behind every beautiful physical trait originating from our evolution as an equally elaborate and co-evolved cognitive concept about what is beautiful. In the example I use, this would be the female paradise bird, a connoisseur of bird beauty, and she is cognitively fully equipped to rate the male bird's mating dance. Do you start to grasp now why beauty remains so important in our society? In essence, we're still mammals estimating each other's beauty and attractiveness in order to find our most suitable partner. And also in humans, the attractiveness and the beauty we observe tells us important information about our potential partners. Let's elaborate on these signs. First of all, it's often attractive if we can clearly determine if someone is male or female, which makes sense, as it is the most basic criteria for reproduction. Next, and a glance you back the goods. Is a man tall, muscular and in good shape? Then this tells you he's healthy and he can most likely provide for the family and protect it. When looking for a woman, is she brought in the hips? Does she have breasts? Great, because those come in handy when delivering babies and feeding them. Next, without consciously thinking about it, you look at someone's skin, hair and teeth, as those can tell you a lot about someone's health, metabolic system and energy. Lastly, you observe someone's face. Does it look odd? Is the face asymmetric? Is someone tired and unfriendly? All are red flags. To further illustrate that assessing someone's beauty is baked into our DNA, I want to tell you about the mall test. The mall test is simple and does probably sound familiar. If you walk into a mall and you find someone's appearance odd, there is a high probability that the odd-looking person has a syndromal illness. This shows how our cognitive concepts have evolved in order to find the most suitable partner, just like the female paradise bird. And besides the obvious physical aspects of beauty, there are also psychological ones. Take for instance this quote of Leo Tolstoy, a world-famous Russian writer. He said, I was frequently subject to moments of despair. I imagined that there was no happiness on earth for a man with such a wide nose, such thick lips, and such tiny grey eyes as mine. Nothing has such a striking impact on a man's development as his appearance, and not so much his actual appearance as a conviction that is either attractive or unattractive. Sadly, these last words are often true. The way you perceive your own attractiveness and beauty can have a huge impact on your mood, self-esteem and the place you take in the world. This can ultimately affect the way that others perceive us as well. 
Luckily, not all hope is lost, and we can also positively impact how others perceive us and how attractive others rate us. First of all, stand up straight and tall, smile to other people, maintain prolonged eye contact with them, mirror their body movements, expressions, speech and posture, give compliments, insert humor, and wear something which boosts your confidence. For women, something red works best. Furthermore, lifestyle is the name of the game. And the healthier you become, the more attractive you will be. This counts for your physical attractiveness as well as for your mental attractiveness. So stop smoking, limit your alcohol consumption, exercise at least 150 minutes each week, consume a balanced diet with low levels of saturated fats, salts, and sugar, eat plenty of fibers, fruits, and vegetables, maintain a healthy weight, have a structured sleeping schedule consisting out of seven to nine hours of sleep each night and decrease stress. Do so by maintaining social contacts, doing fun activities and relaxing. Another tip is to add beauty to every day through all tasks you fulfill. Take some time when you make breakfast, set up a tray with some tea and coffee, make it pretty or spend some extra time dressing. Only walk out of the house when you feel pretty. This self-love might bleed into all areas of your life. Because you feel and treat yourself as special and beautiful, others will pick up on that as well and might treat you the same way. I've been rambling on now for way too long and I will quickly recap. Beauty plays an important role in our society as well as in our survival, but as the cliche goes, real beauty is found from within. So be loving, genuine and honest to each other. Smile, be confident and enjoy every day and then you will feel and will be beautiful. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Otherwise, please click the like and subscribe button. This will help out the channel tremendously and in return, you will get a notification with a weekly awesome medical video. I will see you next week and for those of you that can't get enough, check out the Instagram as well at how to medicate. Thank you so much and I will see you next week with a new video. Bye bye.